Hi, I'm Adam, and welcome to Corpse Talk, the show that brings a dead famous to life. This week, my guest is a brilliant scientist and inventor who used his love of nature to improve the lives of millions. It's the one and only Peanut Man. <laughs> show, George Washington Carver. Peanut Man, it makes me sound like some kind of superhero. With the power to provide a tasty and nutritional snack. Is it a pea? Is it a nut? It's kind of both. It's Peanut Man! Are you all right? Sorry. Anyway, who needs a pretend hero when you're still a real hero to so many? You're very kind, but my life didn't start out that way. My parents were enslaved by a Missouri farmer called Moses Carver. My dad, Giles, died before I was born into slavery. When slavery was abolished in Missouri, Moses and his wife raised me and my brother. I was too sickly to work in the field, so instead, I spent my time reading books and exploring nature. I just loved watching the wildlife around me. I wanted to know the names of every flower, insect, bird, and beast. Ooh. Uh, George, what's that little blue one? Forget me not. <laughs> of course we won't, George. That's kind of the point of the show. <laughs> ah, that's the flower's name. <laughs> In time, I learned so much from observing nature that people used to call me the plant doctor. Hmm, plant doctor. How did that work? I don't know what to do, Doctor. He doesn't speak, he doesn't eat, he barely photosynthesizes. Tell me straight, will he ever flower again? Hmm. I'm going to prescribe you a larger pot, some fresh compost, daily water, and plenty of sun. Next! Well, something like that. So, George, what came next? Even though slavery was abolished across America, it was still hard for me to get an education. One college accepted my application, but when I arrived, they saw I was black and turned me away. That's ridiculous. How were you supposed to become a world-famous scientist if they wouldn't even let you in? It wasn't easy, but I wasn't going to let it stop me trying. And eventually, I was accepted into agricultural college. You wanted to be a... Farmer? Not exactly, but I did want to use what I'd learned to help people. I did so well there that I stayed on and became a professor. I had big ideas. I wanted to revolutionize farming across the American South. With a little wagon? That's right. It allowed me to take my classroom to the people. And it worked. You see, most of the farmers had been enslaved for and they only knew how to grow one thing. I just don't get it. These crops keep dying. As a scientist, I could show them how, after a while, cotton sucks all the nitrogen out of the soil, <laughs> making the ground useless for growing anything. So I encouraged them to plant something that was not only better for the soil, but also healthy and affordable for people to eat. The new crop I encouraged the farmers to grow was, you guessed it, peanuts. Just a day! At last, we get to the peanuts! It wasn't just peanuts, though. I also recommended that they try growing soybeans and sweet potatoes, too. <laughs> Do you know any jokes about those? Uh, no, sorry. Can we stick to the peanuts, please? <laughs> sure thing. It's my favorite topic. I had to show people how amazingly versatile they were, so I hit the lab. Ooh. You've just eaten one of my experiments. Uh, sorry, they're just so uh, nutty. Indeed. To convince the farmers, I had to help find as many uses for peanuts as I could. <laughs> how many do you think there were? Mm, salted peanuts, dry roasted peanuts, <gasps> peanut butter, uh, peanut oil. Yeah, so four. <laughs> nope, 
almost 300. No way. 300? <laughs> like I said, versatile. Do you want to guess what they were? Oh, I feel a nutty game show coming on. Name that peanut product. Welcome to a Name That Peanut product. It's a working title. Here they come, Adam. Peanuts. Sausage. Really? Yep. Delicious. Mm. Mm. Peanut juice? Nope. Ink. Although we did make a number of drinks from peanuts, too. Wow. Uh, okay. Um, peanut paint? Nope. That's peanut cheese. Although... Oh, don't tell me you made a peanut paint, too. Peanut ice cream, peanut face cream, peanut pickle. Um, ha ah, ah, ha. I know this one. Mmm. Love peanut butter. <laughs> Close, but I'm afraid that's actually peanut shampoo. <laughs> Yuck. Funnily enough, I didn't actually invent peanut butter. Whoa, that's a plot twist I didn't see coming. Though I did help make it popular. But even so, when people thought peanuts, they thought George Washington Carver. I wasn't in it for the fame or the money. I just wanted to help improve people's lives. Oh, what's this? That's peanut nitroglycerin. No, no, nitroglycerin? Like the stuff they use to make dynamite nitroglycerin? Ah! <laughs> oh, my. Mmm, mmm, tasty. George Washington Carver, you're an inspiration. Thank you so much for being my guest. Well, <laughs> I'd have been nuts to say no. Yeah, now you're getting it. That's all we have time for. Join us again on Corpse Talk, the show that brings the dead famous to life. <laughs> 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 <laughs>